Ophelia. I'm a blonde from Spark Summit. Um, you probably already know about the Keep It Real movement, but if you don't, log on to Facebook right now and join the group. Um, the action's getting pretty big, so you definitely want to be involved. Um, so, I wanted to do this blog to just talk about um, something specifically that I've noticed um, and I want to clarify on. Um, so we've been getting some comments from people saying things like, okay, so I'm kind of confused in your, you're saying that these models in these magazines are too skinny, therefore they're photoshopped. And people are like, well, I'm just as skinny as them and I'm naturally thin. I don't have an eating disorder. Or I'm not photoshopped, so like, yeah, so people were sending messages like that, you know, being kind of confused, and um, I can understand that. We're not saying that these models are too skinny. Um, we're saying that it's kind of unrealistic and kind of annoying how magazines only show skinny models, because in real life, you know, when they're walking down the street, they're all kinds of different bodies, some people who are thin, some people who are bigger, and um, because humans aren't just one body size, but in magazines you only see one body size. And um, yes, lots of those models are naturally thin, um, but you know, even when you know real girls are featured in um, Seventeen magazine, even when you know celebrities are, are featured, they still look really, really thin. And um, and that's often because they're photoshopped. I mean, a lot of people aren't naturally thin, like we said, but um, in the magazines, they still look super, super thin. And that's because they're photoshopped. It's like the media is telling us that we're not good enough if we don't have a certain body type. So they're going to photoshop us so we can be in their magazine. Um, that's what we're saying. It's kind of it's, 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 it's unrealistic, and um, sending the message to girls that they need to look a certain way and that, you know, all these girls in this magazine look a certain way is, it's, it's hurtful. I mean, how could that possibly be a good thing? So, we're not saying that um, it's bad to have a certain body type. That's what, you know, the media is saying. That's the message that they're sending us, and, um, you know, there's this one perfect um, picture of beauty that the media shows all over the place. You know, it's a really tall, really thin woman with um, light skin and light hair and no blemishes whatsoever. And, um, and yes, you might be skinny. You might have one or two characteristics like this perfect, 100% perfect um, idea of beauty. You, you might be thin. You might be tall, you might not have any acne on your face, but um, it's impossible, even if you do have some of these things, it's impossible to have all of them. Because it's impossible to be 100% perfect without Photoshop. It's impossible to, you know, have zero imperfections because humans are naturally imperfect things. We're not perfect. That's just the nature of it. Um, it's impossible. So magazines are making it look possible, and girls want to look like those images that they see in magazines, and they're striving for something that's impossible. So, so we're not saying that you, you know, that these models are too skinny, because yes, lots of them are probably naturally skinny, but even the ones that aren't are photoshopped to be skinny. And um, so yeah, and even the ones who are naturally skinny are probably photoshopped for other things too. You know, you know, their hair and their face and um, other things on their body. You know, Photoshop is just something that's used so widely. It's become kind of an, a norm, which is really disappointing. And so we want to change that norm because really there's no other side to this. No one out there says, oh, photoshopping girls' bodies is good. Nobody says that. Nobody agrees with that, okay? Um, the only people who like Photoshop are, um, you know, owners of magazines and commercial people. 
and they don't even like it probably they probably just doing what they're doing to get money because they think it's the way to get money but um you know if i was looking for a magazine and there was one that said photoshop free 100 percent um non-photoshopped girls in this magazine i would choose that magazine because that's that's what i want to see and there are a lot of moms who don't buy their kids things because they're so heavily photoshopped they know how unhealthy it is for their kids um so I think sales would go up and um you know that's it's my opinion but um because no one thinks that photoshop is a good thing that's why we've had so much support on this project um if you agree with it then join the action if you're already in the action then thank you very much for your helping make it